Welcome back to our message from our Divine Compassionate Guides. As always, my message is intended to help heal and serve you in the most appropriate way. And my purpose is to live, speak, and seek the truth in all forms to help reconnect humanity to its highest form of authenticity. So thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to pull our message from our Divine Guides from the Starseed Oracle cards by Rebecca Campbell. So let's dive right in and find out what our message is for today. The Blue Flame. So this one is, of course, our spontaneous awakening, our activation, integration, and the integration time. It's quite appropriate. Our next one here. Whale and Orca Elders, share your song, frequency of sound, and deep diving. And the last card, Star Family, you're part of a team of souls, call in support. So let's just take a deep breath, get ourselves settled as we let the exhale go, and let's dive right into what our message is saying to us today. So we start here with the blue flame. And this one, of course, is really talking about our spiritual awakening. So some of us might be coming through a spontaneous awakening. Um, this process is very, isn't really known about, not here. We don't talk about it. We do on my channel, but in North America per se. So this is that time where we are being activated. We are being lit activated and some of us might be really coming to a spontaneous awakening because as I've been mentioning over the last few days in both my live and in the cards, we are at a time where we're, there's going to be a lot of discomfort and I feel like that discomfort is going to really stem maybe a lot of spontaneously spontaneous awakening to happen. Like that might be what's really happening is this discomfort is getting and the pressure of it it's becoming so much that many will spontaneously activate and become aware of what is happening you know we can maybe glamorize this process but if you're just suddenly going to be spontaneously awakened because of the discomfort happening it's going to be maybe a little traumatic now we go into the whale and the orca elders that's our next card here and if we pull this card we're being called to surrender to the deepest truth and share it with potency to bow to who you truly are to stretch your heart wide enough to hold it all to leave fears doubts and baggage the door and to question any part of you that doesn't feel good enough so we're being spontaneously awakened or we're on that path and it's been the integration of time, but I feel like a lot of people, it's going to be spontaneous happening from the pressure of this discomfort happening and that we, what will help us with this and with this transition of this awakening is surrendering to the deepest truth. So if we've already, we're awakening, then we're being called to share the truth. If we are awakening spontaneously and we're just coming into the truth, it's going to be connecting to allow those fears and doubts to death, to dissipate, dis dissipate so we can really start to heal because that spontaneous waking is going to be hard enough with all the truth coming, the fears, the doubts, the baggage that is going to come with that is going to be intense. So the whale orca is just trying to remember to remind us to surrender, especially those that are coming through that spontaneous awakening. And if we are already awakening and we've been integrating it and we're activating it fully now, we're being called to talk about the truth, to open that sound, the frequency of that potential and share it. And then the end is the star family. So with that, it, you know, the, the, we have a bunch of support. So whether you're spontaneously coming to this awakening because the pressure is on you and the discomfort so much that you're just going to come into this awakening to all the, that truth door, just opening up and spilling forward. The whale orca elders are telling you, it's okay. Try to be, take your breath, take a moment. The fears, the depression, anything that might come up with all this rampage of truth is okay. The truth is going to set us free and heal us. And if we are awakening, we're going to be speaking that truth frequency. It's going to help us. And no matter which side we're on, we've got a team of souls that are supporting us. So if we've been, we're going through that activation that we've been working on for 
maybe maybe a while now and we're speaking the truth we've got the soul family here that's supporting us so if we are struggling to speak the truth if we're struggling with any of it call in those those entities our divine compassionate guides that are supporting us maybe there's physically people as well so those that are around that can help us now if we are spontaneously awakening and kind of getting freaked out working through the fears trying to come to that trust in sharing that the song we can call in the support of the star family as a backup to help us get through this. And some of us that are already awakened to these truths, we might be there to be that star family and assist those that are spontaneously awakening, really going to struggle with the truth that we're talking, um, but that we're here to support them through it because we've already gone through all those feelings. We were, most of us were lucky enough if we've been awakening to these truths. We've done it over a number of years. Some of the newer ones, maybe over the last like three to four years. I have been on this path for... 12 years at least, if not before. Before was definitely the journey, but it wasn't this focused. It was the journey to get me to the point of going down the rabbit hole. That would have been prior to the last 12 years was my journey that brought me to this spiritual surrender and opening myself up. And then these last 12 years has been learning so many things um, because I was now open to it. But I feel like a lot of people are going to be spontaneously rigidly awakened and they're going to be looking for the truth and there's going, to, there's going to be a lot of fear as the truth comes up because the truth is that everything we know is a lie which is seems like a cliche but I had a conversation with some of my ladies that come to my class and it was literally everything we talked about was about truths that were not truths in our reality so these lies we live under these weird assumptions like in North America especially in Canada you think you own a property you don't own the property even if you own it outright you have no mortgage on it you don't own it when I when the government can come along and tell you you can or cannot rent your property for short-term rental or you can and cannot do this We've been brainwashed to think that that somehow benefits us when it doesn't. It, it shows us that we clearly, the truth is, is that you don't own the property. You don't. They can put liens against your property. The government can grab it. They can force you off the property that you own. We've seen this in cities where they want to get rid of trailer parks. And they literally just push people off. And even if people did own some of that land, they're forced. They are literally forced off of it. So you never owned it to begin with because you wouldn't be able to be forced off of it if you did have inherent rights to it. Kind of as a side note. So property is an illusion in North America, at least. And then, so that's what it's saying is really there's going to be a lot of people that are spontaneously awakening. It's going to be tough. They might be a lot of fears, but we're here to tell them the truth. And really, we're also there to be for be part of their star team, be part of their support, be part of helping them get through this challenge. They will have other people to support them as well. But we are also being called, called to be that support in telling the truth. So that's the message for today. And uh, I hope this does give you some insight for this next few days and helps you in the most appropriate way. Until tomorrow, namaste.